So it has finished the installation of MinGW. We see a series of messages like extraction or shortcut creation. Click on next. Then click on finish to finish the installation. Press and hold the Windows key and press E to open the Explorer. Double click on the C hard disk. Double click on MinGW. Double click on bin, the bin directory where a series of programs are. Let's press and hold the Windows key. Press R and type CMD. Press enter or click on OK. This is the command prompt. We see that we can type in any command. Type GCC, press enter, and we see that it is not recognized as an internal or any type of command. We need to add the value to a variable system path. For that, we go to settings, control panel, and at the system icon, double click, and the system properties advanced tab. We go at the bottom and see the environment variables button. And we see a series of environment variables. We scroll down to where path system environment variable is. And we see the values, which are a series of strings that will hold the addresses of where binaries are. Click on edit and we can edit that system variable. We let the cursor at the end and alt tab to where the main GW directory is. And now we right click and left click on copy, alt tab once again to where the system variable dialog was. With a semicolon, we will separate it from the rest of the binary directories. Control V to paste the string, click on OK to set it. Then click on OK on system environment variables dialog to set it on Windows XP as a registry so that when we restart Windows, that option will still be available. Click on OK on the System Properties window. Press and hold the Windows key and press R to invoke the wrong command. Press CMD and OK. It opens the command prompt. Now we can test to see if Windows command prompt can actually find the GCC executable. Now type GCC space dash dash version, press enter to see that the message of the version is there, so it has been found. With GCC we can now compile and link our future programs, which we will see in later videos. C source files are passed to GCC as arguments, just as we did with the dash dash version in this occasion.